Hello and welcome to Wolfman Gaming. This is my The Quarry Blind Playthrough. And this is episode 17. That's it. That's the story. Don't all jump in at the same time. <laughs> Wait. The island? Like like our island? Like the one in the lake? Yeah, why? So Max was the one that attacked Emma. He went back there looking for Emma and he hasn't come back yet. Neither of them have. Oh, shit. Honest, they're not there now, calming, it's, they're probably okay. Well, if they were there, they're not there now. What's that supposed to mean? Don't make me spell it out for you. I've just come back from there and there's one werewolf and no people. Oh, fuck. All I know is I have to do this. I have to kill Chris Hackett before it's too late. After you saw me at the pool, after I shot Chris, um, I went back to the island expecting Max to be back to normal. But She looks like a female snake Pliskin from Escape from New York. Only thing she's missing is a gritty voice and a big tattoo of a cobra on her stomach. <laughs> Well, she took the express route down. <laughs> So the werewolf I killed can't have been Chris. That wasn't a werewolf. It was Haley Hackett, Chris's daughter. Whatever I shot, that was no girl. Unless, I, I guess, it turned back after I shot it when I went to the island. Wait, so how come Max didn't kill you then? Show bite, hide bite. Show bite. He tried. I need to end this. Don't be a twat, Ryan. If she was gonna turn into a werewolf, she would have at this point. And she is probably our best bet to. Now who's this? 
Is this mom? Mama Hackett? So this is our new gear. Smell good, don't I? Go on. Take a bow. Go on. Dumb fucking animal. What I'm really interested Let me go! Let me fucking go! Get your hands off me! In knowing. Bang, please let me go. Threatening, I'll call the police. Let's threaten let with go. calling the police. Wait, I think that's Travis's go. brother. I'll call the fucking cops! <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because <laughs> that was funny. So these are Hackett boys. Well, now it's starting to make sense. There is a first werewolf somewhere around Hackett's quarry. And that has infected Chris. And his family has been chasing the werewolf ever since, trying to cure him. But why they have a summer camp? Poking your nose uh, where it doesn't belong. Don't believe why they have a summer camp makes think. no sense at all. Anyway, here we are again. And how it relates to these harem scarum people. Unless it's some type of like gypsy curse. <laughs> the chariot. At the reins of a chariot we would all feel safer. Taking control, relying on determination to make our choices valiant but in some cases foolish many seek refuge in chariots but perhaps in some cases they're not as safe as we think they are and the same question as always will you let me show you more yeah why not don't think it will make much of a difference but You'll be seeing me a few more times before the night's over. I look forward to that, as long as you follow the right path, of course. Of course. Chapter 7, Trophy. So I guess in this is start of Chapter 8, Belly of the Beast. Where is Chris Hackett? Shut up. What up? Where? Guys, she murdered Kaylee. We have been over this. Dominating. I told shut up. Hesitant. Caitlin, what do I do? Be hesitant. Uh, Caitlin? What do I do? Oh, wow. Real strong showing on the leadership front. I said shut up. <laughs> Laura doesn't respect no you. I am not getting involved. This is all you, buddy. Just 
Think about everything that's happened tonight, okay? That's all I'll say. Not convinced. All this because of a poem? Curious, you said you heard a woman. I'm a bit Hold curious on. about the woman. You said you heard a woman crying? And you escaped? Why? What do you know? Cautious. Nothing. Just a podcast. Honest. The hag of Hackett's quarry. Let's be just honest. Reminds me of a local story I know. The hag of Hackett's quarry. A woman in the woods. They say that she died years ago. And now she sort of roams the darkness waiting for her lost boy. These guys hate it when I talk about it. You've seen her. No. I don't know. But I heard this thing back at the police station, a, a podcast. Zarya Bonafide? Yeah, that's it. It looks like Travis was keeping an eye on it. Why? Maybe it's more than a story. Look, all I can tell you for sure is that whatever's happening at Hackett's Quarry runs deeper than you know. I'm just gonna go right ahead and take that back from you there. <laughs> Come on. Where does Chris Hackett live when he's not at camp? I mean, cautious. Why do you think I know that? Mean, I'm not telling you. Let's what be cautious. Makes you think I know that. Uh, you guys are counselors, right? You've spent the last two months here. He's not in the storm shelter. I'm clearly getting nowhere hunting him in the woods. I need a place to start. I think that spooky house behind these woods. Dude! What? Sarcastic. Have you thought about not killing him? Compassionate. There might be another way. Listen, there could be another way. Have you thought about that? I've spent the last month thinking about nothing else. Look. When the sun comes up, I am stuck until the next full moon. So is Max, so is anyone else he's bitten. How is that our problem? Why don't you ask your friends in the woods? Don't forget about Nick, dude. Okay, any clothes are going to have to spray you two with cold water. Ryan, let's just get out of here. <laughs> I'm running out of time. If I can't find Chris Hackett, then a lot more people are going to get hurt. I'm going with you. What? what? Uh, yeah, what they said. Friendly. Chris has nothing to do with this. Aggressive, not a chance. You're going yourself. Let's be friendly. Show you that Chris Try to keep her happy. To do with this. He wanted us to stay inside tonight. He wanted us safe. I don't care what you think. I don't care what you think. Shut up. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Real mature. You saw what happened to Nick. He was bitten. And you saw what he did to Abigail. That cop car you stole. Where is it? Ditched in the lake. Why? It was a stolen cop car. You're going to have to try and fix the minivan. Get somewhere safe. How long do you have? An hour or two. I don't know. It doesn't seem like an exact science. Then we better get going. Let's roll. Are you sure this is the right way? Pretty sure, yeah. Pretty or definitely? What do I look like, a tour guide? Suspicious, this doesn't feel right. Questioning, have you been there? Have you actually been there before? I mean, no. Wait, seriously? I know as much as you do. Well, at least he's honest. Or I'm honest. <laughs> How well do you know Chris Hackett? Mr. H, pretty well. Like you're pretty sure we're going the right way? When I first came to camp, I was going through some personal shit and Mr. H helped me sort it out. He's a good guy. You don't know him like I do. 
I don't know him at all. Okay, okay, jeez. Such a pet. Why are you like this? <laughs> Provocative. I could ask you the same. Thoughtful. No one knows anybody. Look. Let's be thoughtful. I don't think anybody knows anybody. Not really. Well, I know Mr. H, and, and he never hurt any of us. Well, I know for a fact he's not the good guy you think he is. All he does is try to help people. That's what his whole camp is all about, to help the kids. Yeah, I don't doubt it. You know what I have to do, right? I know. But only if we can't talk to him. Can't find another way. Lead the way. There it is. Hack your house. So he lives yeah, that does not look creepy at all. With his redneck family in the ass crack of the woods? Look at this place. No, but it's where his mom lives, I think. I've never been there. But if we're looking for answers, it's probably the best place to start. So, uh, wait, how do we get there? What do you mean? How do we get to the house? That's a really good question. Maybe we just don't. Andrew, whose side are you on? Compassionate. I get it. He's your buddy. Yeah, let's Look, be compassionate. I understand Chris is your friend. If there was another way, I'd tell you. Sure. Yeah. Laura. Chris is a good man. This isn't about good and evil, Ryan. Just how can you be so certain? If I let my conscience slow me down now, everything gets a lot worse for everyone. Believe me, if there's another way, I'm all for it. Hey, where are you going? You're on a timer, remember? There must be another way across somewhere. I got you. Careful, it's gonna go. <laughs> well, this could be a way in. Oh, shit. Are you okay? And it seems like it is. Laura? It stalks your breath but shuns clear water. Oh my god, Laura. Jesus, Mary and Jazz hands. Here's a thought. What are you doing? Relax. Look. What big eyes you have, Grandma? <laughs> no shit. Can you see yellow in my eyes? Well, that's the positive part about oh, lycanthropy. Oh, yes. We haven't got much time. Werewolves are famously quick healers in, I think, all types of popular culture. These must have been from the quarry days. Clue found. Old mining no tools. Dog. No one's been down here for years. I'm happy for Laura that she got her left eye back. But I still think the eye patch looked really cool. <laughs> and also, who doesn't look like a badass? Did you hear that too? With who? Scars. The packet's quarry. 
It's like she's warning us off. Running down your eye. I've talked about that in previous videos that whenever someone is portrayed, or not always, but a lot of times, when they want to portray someone as an absolute badass, they have a vertical scar across their eye. No, they can't have done. This place is not up to code. I mean, if the code <laughs> is literally crumbling to the ground, then I think it's doing fine. Let's just keep moving. Yeah. Really? Well, I'm going to end this episode right here and we'll venture further on in the next one. But I want to thank you very much for watching and I will see you again in my next video. So until next time, this is the Wolfman signing off.